I'm going to evaluate. I have a few points that I would like to comment on that were, went really well, and then a few points that where I think we could, could be even better. You had uh, the, the opening graphic was the, 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 I loved it, it was, it was very clear, the, the image of the junk coming in the head and then the junk coming out of the mouth. That was just, it really stuck with me. And, and because some of my comments today are about what's gonna stick with me from your talk. And that one was one that was really clear. I really liked it. Number, point number two, speaking of things sticking with me, you told a few stories along the way. The one that stuck with me was the visual, because you described it very well, of the, the models, the women, in front of the, the, I think it was a parade, and they're smoking because, and then the propaganda is, oh yeah, we're free, we're not allowed to smoke, we're free. So that was, again, a nice visual for me. Ah, I can see that one. You had, again, with the, your slides were excellent. Some of the slides were the more graphic slides, the more visual slides, they were fantastic. They were really, the, the first head one, and then you didn't need a slide for that one for the women. That gave me a visual, and then you had more that were also very good. That were, really helped me get your get your point across, your message across. Yeah, I was, you had a couple of really funny lines that I, I wrote down. You had some D DIY, like do it yourself, do it yourself propaganda. I thought that was funny, DIY propaganda, and that was when you attack yourself, like the army attacks itself and says that the other guys did it. I thought that was a, a funny line. And then this one I just had to write down, shower curtains are racist. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm unfortunately not gonna forget that one. I thought that was kind of funny. Okay, then on elements to improve. Uh, back to the slides again. Because you had a lot of slides, so I'm commenting quite a bit on the slides. The, a few slides, there was a lot of text. There was one, there was, I, I was reading it, so what's gonna happen, of course, is that we are naturally going to go focus on the slide because if you have slides we're going to look at them so we've got slides and there's one with a whole bunch of text i'm kind of reading it and i'm losing a bit more of you and so in a presentation up here i want more of you and less of slide which is why again i like the graphic slide because there's a nice pretty picture i can look at it get the idea it comes through to me and now i can listen to you again where there's too much text i'm reading and i'm losing you on that note so you even kind of caught yourself. By the way, Peter is an experienced speaker. We were talking about safe place. I'm giving him some pretty critical feedback, some pretty harsh feedback, uh, because he's a, he's a professional speaker, and he can handle it, for one, and he wants it. He wants it because he wants to improve. You, you even mentioned it. You had a big the bouquet, the big list, which I thought was really cool. And in fact, I wanted more. I'm like, oh, I want more of the bouquet. Wow, look at all those things. But you even said, oh, there's so many here, I'm not going to get to them all. I think this, this could have been done in different ways. Either, either uh, have less or really make it clear. Here's a whole bunch. And if you want like a teaser for later, if you want to know more about this, you know, come talk to me after the, after the meeting. Or if this is your business or something, that you're, you're selling something, so to speak, come talk to me after because look at all these. Oh, aren't they interesting? I don't have time to cover them, but wow, they're great. Can't you see? And let's talk more later. Finally, oh, again, with the list you had, you made a comment about bread and circuses. You said something like, oh, but that's very well known. And I said, well, I don't know it. And so now you're, you're making me feel like, oh, I don't, I don't know something. And I'm, it's not my expertise. I don't know much about this topic. But when you say that, you, you might make some people think like, Oh, well, everybody knows that. And then I'm thinking, well, I don't. And so, I, but I want to know more. And actually, you skipped that one, I think, because I, I really don't know what it is, bread and circuses. <laughs> so, awesome speech. Thank you so much for that. Oh, uh, finally, at the very end, you said, you gave me sort of the reason I'm here. And that was so I can defend myself against the propaganda. Because it was a very informative speech about propaganda, but why am, I, why am I listening? Why do I care? Why do I care about this speaker? What is he helping me? How is he helping me? Ah, he's helping me to learn about this so I can defend myself against it. That really better.